Good afternoon, guys. It is beautiful weather here today. So right now I'm outside about to tackle something that I've been putting off for way too long. Today I'm going to be cleaning and organizing my truck. It's not super dirty inside, but it's just, it's long overdue. It's cluttered. It just needs to get done. So let's get started. All right, my back seat is cluttered with stuff. It looks like I live out of my truck. <laughs> uh, so this all needs to come out. I've got some lovely drool, courtesy of my bull mastiff Chloe here, that needs to get cleaned off. This window here has got a little bit of doggy nose art, courtesy of Sandy. <laughs> you can see there's just dust and dirt, grime everywhere, you know, normal wear and tear. From my uh, camera clip here, leaves a nice gross ring on the window. <laughs> Up here on the dashboard, uh, you see all this white. That is Alfredo sauce from a to-go container that I put up here and then turned and it slid and dumped out. So <laughs> that's got to go. And then just overall just needs a good vacuum and cleaning. These are all the tools I'm going to be using to clean my truck today, and everything that you see here is from the Dollar Tree. I have a little scrubber with some soap in it, carpet powder, a little nubby washcloth, regular washcloths, paper towels, multi-purpose cleaner, auto glass cleaner, a squeegee, an old toothbrush, and this is just a spray bottle with some warm water. So the first thing I need to do is to take everything out of my truck, whether it belongs in here or not everything out so that I can clean everything. floor mats have been washed and they're drying so the next step is going to be to vacuum out my entire truck. Now if you have a small handheld portable vacuum, great. I don't. So I'm just using my vacuum from in the house and I have an extension cord just to plug it in. And then uh, different attachments or whatever you want to use with it. If you live near a um, car wash that has a vacuum station, that will work too. So I'm just going to vacuum all the carpets, the seats, just every little thing I can see.
big stuff and then I use that small crevice tool to get more in the cracks and now I'm going to tackle the seats. Surprisingly I don't have that much dog hair considering how much of the dogs are back here but there is some so I'm going to use a squeegee to really uh, grab the hair with this rubber piece. You can also use like a rubber glove or whatever anything rubber really grabs hair. gotten all the dog hair off the seats, I'm going to use some of this carpet powder to freshen up the upholstery. The daylight is shifting on me, so excuse this bright light. Um, the vacuuming is all done, so now I'm just going to use this little nubby cloth. I'm just going to make it a little bit damp and then just do a quick dusting to get anything that got kicked up while I was vacuuming. this old toothbrush and some warm water to get inside of the cup holders and stuff to just kind of loosen up that dirt and gunk in there. And then I'm going to use just a little wet cloth and some all-purpose cleaner to clean all the surfaces, the dashboard, the radio, everything inside with this. Step is to clean the glass, and I'm using an Armorall Auto Glass Cleaner and just some paper towels. done. The last step is to really just put everything back in the truck that belongs in it. Um, and then it's getting a little late now. But maybe tomorrow I'll go get a car wash and wash the whole outside of it and then I'll be just good to go. So now I just gotta put the floor mats and everything back inside.
in my center console here. I've got some mints. I've got my registration. I've got a flashlight just in case. A couple wet naps. Some gum. Uh, a little knife. Spare key. In my back here, I've got a snow brush, which I hope I don't need very soon. I've got an umbrella and a snow scraper. All right, so as I'm going through my truck and putting stuff back in, I just want to share a couple tips and things with you guys of what I do for in my vehicle. One thing I keep in my glove box is this little file folder. It's a little expandable thing. I also got it at the Dollar Tree. So inside of here, I've got some pens, some spare pens. I've got some bank deposit slips. I've got coupons for oil changes and whatever. And then in the back here, I have my vehicle owner's manual. So this just keeps everything nice and handy for when you need it. And just pop that in there and you're good to go. Got some extra napkins and some tissues. Good to go. All right, now my back seat does not lift up, but there is space underneath it to put stuff. My jack is almost in the middle towards the driver's side, but this left side is all empty. So underneath this seat is where I'm gonna put all my tie straps and bungee cords and things like that. I picked up this little basket at the Dollar Tree and I have all my tie straps and things in here nicely. And I'm just gonna slide this underneath the seat. Just like that. And that just stays nice and tucked under. Now I don't want that little basket to slide around if I'm like stopping hard or whatever. So I picked up this little three pack of bungee cords at the Dollar Tree. I'm just gonna use one to bungee it from this side of the seat to the middle, and then it will keep it nice and secured. So I'm just gonna hook one end on this piece of metal. And then the other end is somewhere under the seat. All right, and last but not least, I'm gonna to toss one of these air fresheners from the Dollar Tree underneath the seat so that it can be fresh smelling all year round. Final clean truck. Looking good. <laughs> all right, guys, that's gonna do it for this vlog. The truck is looking nice and clean. Is it perfect? No. Does it look like it was professionally detailed? No. Is it better than it was? Hell yeah. So I say mission accomplished. Um, and again, all the products that I use were from the Dollar Tree, so they're very cheap. I had some deep cleaning to do, to do on this truck because I don't really clean it as often as I should. It's just a, a truck that I go to work and back in, you know, it's nothing fancy. You can only polish a turd so much. <laughs> so I'm, I'm not really planning on keeping this truck a lot longer. It should be paid off by the end of the year. And then I'm probably going to trade it in for something better. So uh, I'm happy with the results. And uh, I recommend you try some of these products on the Dollar Tree if you want. And uh, let me know how it goes. Because I think it turned out pretty jazzy. So, <laughs> so yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, truck cleaning, organizing vlog. And if you have any other kind of car care tips or tricks that you want to share with me, definitely leave a comment because I'm, I'm always open to new ideas and, and ways to do things. So yeah, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next vlog.